There you got it. <laughs> Since when we're in the topic of time, <laughs> so what's being suggested here is that time is the illusory division line between this and that, between past, present, and future, life and death, subject and object, understanding, misunderstanding, um, contraction and openness. In every separateness, there's this illusory division, and it's usually time. If there's no time, there is no reality. If there's no time, there's no location. There's no world. There's no universe. If there's no time, there's no creator, no higher being or higher self. If there's no time, there's no, no one aware, conscious. If there's no time, there's nothing happening. If there's no time, this is just stillness. If there's no time, there are no thoughts. There is no choice. There's no one here. If there's no time, there's no experience. If there's no time, it's just this unknowable nothing. I used to think that, you know, it took 3.8 billion years for this to occur, that I'm here <laughs> talking to you. And it was this really romantic idea that there was this, you know, Big Bang and uh, dinosaurs. And, and, um, and somehow, because I'm special, I'm here. 3.8 billion years later <laughs> after the Big Bang. <laughs> and, and how special of you to be talking to someone special that it took 3.8 billion years for this to happen. Or sometimes I would think that time is conspiring or universe is conspiring for me to be in this time, to be in this present moment. And there was a time that I thought that, um, that I was in the present moment that I had to, you know, use the power of this now. But I used to judge other people that were not in the now. I'm sorry, but you're not in the now. You're operating in your ego mind or whatever they call it, body or I don't know. Um, <clears throat> and it's a funny ongoing joke about time because there's this, I used to, I, I usually do this, that there seems to be this from here to there. But when it's seen that it's timelessness, Everything is happening seemingly all at once, and even that is unexplainable. Um, and time is, is a lot of con confusion because there seems to be memories about a previous time. Or how am I aging? How am I getting gray hairs? <laughs> how is my nail growing? Or how, are, how is there pictures of me as a young baby? Or how, how come there's a video of me two, two, two days ago? explaining about this. How is that possible? How is there stillness when there's time? So there's, this is just a suggestion that this is the timeless time. It doesn't make sense at all. <laughs> so in the timeless time, everything appears in the apparent present, although there's no present really. It appears in the timelessness. So pictures of you, um, as a baby appears in this stillness, there's memories of you appearing at this apparent moment, although there are no moments, but we can only talk in time because talking, communicating is time, which is also an illusion. So communication is actually an illusion <laughs> describing about time. So confusing because how is this happening if there's no time? How's every single syllable heard if there's no time? How is seeing happening if there's no time? How is taste occurring if there's no time? How are these sensations possible if there's no time? <sighs> wow. So the timeless time includes everything, including aging, including memories, including whatever seems to be happening. There seemingly there's this experiencer of time, or as I call it, the timekeeper, that keeps track of time. It keeps track of the past. It keeps track of the scary future. It, 
it keeps track of whatever seems to be um, stuck in this illusion of time, in this stuckness. Um, and he used to think that I will get here someday or I am far behind. So all of those thoughts that I'm not quite here yet, including the I being here, without time, it doesn't really exist. It's an elaborate illusion. It's a hallucination. You're hallucinating in time, in timelessness. And there's no you hallucinating because hallucination is not possible without time. Delusion, confusion, even illusion is not possible without time. This, this is, and there's even no reality because reality appears in time. So when there's a pointing or a, an instruction in to get into timeless, it's reasserting that there's time, that you're not quite there yet. Although there's no you to be there yet, what seems to be longed for is the timelessness. Timelessness appears in everything. As I said, everything that's appearing is this division of seemingly illusory division called time of here and there, awake and unawakened, whatever that means. When that division line called time explodes, <laughs> it's just it's the I don't know. It's this that is not really this. It doesn't really appear in thoughts because time only appears in thoughts. Without time, there are no thoughts. Without thoughts, there are no time. Again, it's a really flimsy illusion, right? As I say before, it's like this house of cards that if you yank out one of the card, if you yank out time, everything collapses. The idea that I have to get somewhere, the idea that there's enlightenment, the idea that there is this, the idea that there is this, um, oh, I'm progressing. The idea that there's no me or a me collapses. And if you, in, in, even if you take out the, the me card, time also collapses. Because, because without this individual idea that I am separate, then there's no time. It's just timelessness. So this timeless time seemingly appearing as this ever-changing movement in stillness. For this stillness is timeless. But somehow there's some sounds, there's some movements in stillness. How is that possible without time? That's why what's being suggested is it's the unknowable nothing. The unknowable, unknowable nothing, the timeless, the stillness, emptiness, whatever words, there's no apt description of what's being expressed here. But since there's this illusion of time, that there's this apparent talk happening, discussing what can't be discussed, in this immediacy, in this stillness, in this automaticness, Everything is already, everything all at once, everywhere all at once, every time all at once, everyone all at once. And there's no zero and there's no one, so there's not even an all at once. It just had to be conveyed in language that's what's appearing is this, wow, this elaborate hoax called time. As stunning as it is, there's always a wish for the time to collapse. When there's an apparent glimpse in time, there's a sensation or, or a, um, an experience of timelessness. But since this cannot be experienced, what's really happening 
is it's the collapse of the experiencer. Temporarily, there's no temporarily, but it's seen that nothing is happening, that nothing matters, that there's no problems, that there's no one here. But when that wears off, apparently, the time, the character in time conjures up, fantasizes about what apparently happened. It discusses timelessness in time. Oh, it was really great. There was no time. Or there was just this openness. Or I can't even explain it. So timelessness cannot really be explained, and yet here we are in apparent time, in this apparent 90 minutes from here to here, when really it's not really moving. Nothing's really moving. But there's this illusion of movement. There's this illusion of fragmentation, moments by moments, events by events. My appearance, my disappearance, my glimpse, my falling away, my death, my birth. But all of that just is appearing in timelessness without really any, me any meaning. As I said before, this is like a wrinkle in timelessness. And that wrinkle, when seen from a, a different, different angle, although there's no different angle, there's really no wrinkle. There's really no time. So let's um, talk about time. <laughs> if you have any questions, please go ahead. <laughs> or if you just want to chat about it. Oh, the dinosaurs. Yes, there it is. I spotted one. <laughs> I'm going to put on my glasses just a second because I can't read. don't know what I'm doing here then, but here I am. Yes. <laughs> if it all happens in this timeless no, no thing, can you see the dinosaurs? Emerson, hi. Oh, hi, Victoria. Hi. 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 Victoria. Hi. You told everything so we can go home right now. <laughs> Time's up. <laughs> no, no question because hearing. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure some questions will come up or not. <laughs> It took 3.8 billions for us to meet, so I don't know where the questions are. Oh, uh, and I know what happened 5,000 years ago, too. <laughs> but I, I have a question. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I am the most stupid, you know, I'm just blonde, so I have a question. We heard everything, but I have a question. <laughs> oh, how, how is the... Awareness connecting to time. Yeah, so yeah. for someone to be aware or awareness, kind of like, you know, some people call it absolute awareness or some even call it this prior to awareness or abiding in awareness. That's why I don't really use that word because that signifies that there is time. So for abiding yeah, to okay. happen, oh. there is time. For some awareness or prior to awareness, you know, all of this explanation, um, yeah, the it, now it, also. It's personalized. Time, yeah? yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> or for something to be absolute, you know, all that kind of stuff. There's nothing wrong or right about that. It's just it's just wordings, I guess, and something that cannot be expressed. And some apparent characters use that. Um, but it it it's seemingly it's it's uh it's uh, a little bit muddied, not clear, right? Because there's this 
or or the instructions that you have to abide in awareness and all kind of, kind of stuff. So it, it signifies there's time. Although in the same breath, they'll say, the same teacher will say that there's no time. But let's abide in awareness right now. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Shelly. Good morning, everybody. Uh, hi, Shelly. Hi. So I went back and listened to what you posted, which I really liked your introduction, go walking the going into the brick wall. Yeah. Um, and that was very cool. But I went back and listened, and it was what you said was in silence, there's only the interpreter, which made so much sense. So yeah. now with this time piece, in the silence, of which it's just silence, there's no time in silence. It's the interpreter that is creating the time and the wrinkle in the silence. Yes, it is. The interpreter, the timekeeper, is the interpreter of timelessness. So the timekeeper is, is communicating in time in something that is timeless. So for example, I will, you know what, I'm hoping that after this, you know, exhausting um, in, uh, retreat or whatever you call it, that in time that I will fall away. So that's the interpretation of something that is already timeless. So it's looking for timelessness, but timelessness cannot be found because timelessness is, is everything. Yeah, so it's really crazy. Like if you really, you know, just think about this, we minus like the small amount of people that are here <laughs> that, 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 you know, whatever, everything in this world is related to time. Yes. So it's really like the veil is super duper heavy. It's really, I tell you, really flimsy. If you really look at it, because if there is no, there is no time, there's no world. Interesting. So and everything, heavy and flimsy and everything, is the same thing. Yeah. And everything that, everything that, that the world contains is an illusion then. History, beginnings or endings, um, everyone in it, location, destination, everything, history, everyone in history. So everything well, just collapses when there's no time. Right. And then you could say it apparently happened. Apparently happens. Yeah. Yeah. Because if it happened, it happened within that silence. Yes. Well, but there's really no happening too, because it's silence. So it's just an appearance of happening. The, and the reason I say it's happening and happening because in silence, nothing is happening, but it can't really be thought of, right? That this happening is also not happening. How can that be even be imagined? It zaps the, it zaps the thinker because the thinker does not happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's so crazy. I mean, so last night we went out with another couple and I just was like, I, I was playing my own experiment and it is crazy. Like everything that's talked about between people is, you know, telling us about what they did, you know, in January and how it, how it's going to affect them in yeah. July. And it was like, it's so amazing. Yeah. Amazing. It's... And sometimes it's it repeats. <laughs> yeah. It's the past projecting into the future. That's all a conversation is. Yeah, it's all here. Although there's no here, it's in this apparent eternal here. Everything that appears, the conversation, even the conversation that you had last night, is only appearing here because there's no last night. Yeah. Yeah, that never happened. Yeah, <laughs> and, and it's interesting because obviously, you know, I was, apparently I was there and I played in that game that I was watching, but there was really no me, but it was, 
Apparently, it was fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really fascinating to, to hear this, or it could be really confronting. See, I don't find it confronting. Like, I don't find it... Like, what do you mean by confronting, I guess? Well, the, confront, the confronting is, you know, when there is this seeking happening, when there's heavy seeking, and, and all of this, you know, expression is, is um, being expressed that there's no one seek, seeking. And the seeker's like, but I am here. So how do I get rid of the seeking if there's no one seeking? Or someone is, is, is looking for the end of suffering. And then the speaker keeps on saying, since there's no time, there's no suffering. They're like, I am suffering. Are you, um, you kind of like, a, what do you call it? There's a term for it. Um, um, bypassing me. And then it will be said, but there's no you to bypass. Mm. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's funny because I find that after being on that long, like 10 year seeking journey, this is like a breath of fresh air. Yes. When it's seen openly, when there's an openness to it, right? Um, I used to, the tendency in, in a lot of seekers, and this is just a story, is that they stay in that belief, you know, belief system for quite a while. But there are also apparent other characters that, that takes everything with a grain of salt, <laughs> right? So this, this will say this, and this will say that, and this will say that. And then some seekers that will take everything really literally. So this mm. is, this is kind of like the, if you, if you hear what I'm saying, the suggestion is, you know, that there's no time, that there's no whatever. It's not as a matter of fact, although it sounds something like that. There's this. There's this um, undeniability here that I can't really explain how and why, um, but there's no one here. That's the undeniable, mm. that all of this is appearing automatically all at once. Um, and since there's no one, um, everything that is being expressed here is just really a blur of what's already clear. The words are not really matching the clarity. This is a blur, but in this blur, Sometimes, you know what I'm saying? The blur is also clear. Mm, interesting. Yeah. It, it, so it reminds me kind of of, um, and this is just a story, but it reminds me of a movie screen. The silence reminds me of a movie screen at the movies because everything's being projected on the movie screen, mm -hmm. but you can't have the movie Without if you don't the have the screen exactly. and the screen is nothing like the screen is blank, but it has to project everything. That's right. So that's the stillness that's being talked about here, you know, and it's been used by Nisargadatta, you know, of course, in miracles and in many spiritual traditions, you know, that screen. And I and sometimes, you know, I I, I, I come up with a lot of analogies, but um, nothing is really original. Even thinking that you're original is not original. Um, <laughs> yeah, I didn't think I was original. <laughs> no, no, this, this is what I was thinking before, you know, say, <laughs> when I was a teacher that I was kind of oh. like an original kind of like thing. And I'm like, oh, that was said in something. I'm like, ah, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, everything that is said, although it's fresh and new, seemingly comes from something. Like a collective something, but that's the illusion. But that's also a hint that there's nothing separate. Okay, food for thought. Yeah, yeah. Or not. Or not. Or not. Or not. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Emerson. Thank you. Thank you, Shelly. Um, I'll go to you, Car Carolyn, and I have the non-duality police. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, everybody. Um, I forgot why I raised my hand, but... <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> but that's okay. Yeah, but it's so cool how... I'm sorry, my memory is very bad, but uh, I think we talked about this before, but it's so cool how when time um, doesn't feel as real, how there's no suffering or mm. less suffering. It's yeah. so... Because when there is, when there's, when it's seen it, it's timeless. In timelessness, how can thoughts appear? Yeah. Yeah. There's because nothing. thoughts happen. There's nothing happening. Yeah. 
Yeah. So, so when there's the absence of thoughts, there's no time. And then time seemingly contains the past and the future, the, um, the, um, the depressive past sometimes and the anxious future. Yeah. yeah. And, and here there are still thoughts, but yeah. um, the past is gone and the future is also, I don't know, there's just an, um, it's, I cannot think about it. It, it doesn't so. have the weight anymore that, you know, you know what I'm saying? For example, I'll be like, what am I going yeah. to eat today, later today? You know, that's just, it's just an automatic um, appearance. It doesn't really have any significance. It's like a grocery list. Yeah. 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 And that's all, that's all yeah. there is. And yeah. it's so cool because I'm, I'm, yeah, as I thought before, I'm laying in bed for a long time, but I don't feel like it's actually real. I don't, I can't feel it. Yeah. It's just this like there's this thing happening without any weight yeah yeah it's the weightless happening yeah so i can almost say that it it really doesn't matter if you're like very sick and living in bed or whatever is mm. going on when when time is seen as an illusory yes it, it doesn't matter in in, yeah. in what kind of situation you are because you you time are can, yeah time can either be really heavy or very light but when it's seen that heavy and light are just ideas in time then yeah. everything is just flowing yeah yeah and that's cool yeah that's cool yeah and it's also cool this is just nonsense but um when you see people building a house um it really looks like this world is being built like yeah. oh all those houses are built by people and i don't yeah. know you can kind of see through it and see it just as one environment it's yeah. so cool it's so it's you, so nice you know what i like i like those time-lapse videos when everything's moving fast you know I really oh, like those. Shit. Yeah. 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 There's a film, I think, like Baraka or something, you know, and I can't remember what it was, but it, there's a documentary. Baraka, so Victoria said, yeah, that everything okay. is moving, you know, really, really fast. I also like slow motion. Oh, yeah. 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 And Scotsy, too. Oh, yes. Yeah. And Scotsy. I like that movie. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. That's yeah. Cool. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's beautiful how it's it mind blowing. Be. It's yeah, because it, there's really no time, and and sometimes it appears that time is slow motion, really heavy. Or yeah. or when it or, or when it's really kind of like when you're when you're in love or something, it seems like everything is, or when you're having this conversation with 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 someone that that it's a really engaged conversation that there's no one there, it's like this time lapse kind of like thing. Oh, where did that time go? It's one o'clock in the morning, that kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. 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 But but. Yeah, talking, speaking, it's all going like automatically. Um, mm. But what's left to, to talk about? What's <laughs> left? Because I don't know. I don't know. What's there left to tell to people? Like, uh... it, it's, it's actually surprising that there's nothing to talk about. What I usually yeah. do when I, when I um, you know, I don't write, you know, what, what, I, what I talk about, but I usually write down the title of this so this the time that the title of this is timeless time and somehow talking appears about you know something that can't be talked about yeah and somehow yeah. there's still there's still six sessions left talking about the unknowable nothing it always always leads back to unknowable nothing i don't know if you notice there's yes. there's an apparent theme going in this <laughs> Because the, the last 12, 12 event that I did was really all over the place. And I love it. It was chaos, right? So uh, if you, <laughs> it's, it's, it's called the, I can't remember, unconditional whatever, wow or something. Yeah, it, oh, was, yeah, just, yeah. it was just something like, oh, it. it's like, ah, it's roller coaster. But this one is just really talking about nothing. Time is nothing. Yeah. Yeah, and talking just goes yeah. on and it's... Yeah, yeah, it just, it just goes on. It just goes on and on it's and on so... and on. <laughs> but 
really, well, if you really look at it, there's really, um, um, you know, all of these conversations, whatever conversations are all meaningless. Yes. Yeah. Yes, but when this is seen and and like here we have this this apparently this environment where we talk about nothing and we know we're talking about nothing and blah blah blah. <laughs> but when you speak with um, other people and it's just a story, but I don't know. I I will talk in time like as as if things really happened while feeling like it's all bullshit. It's so weird. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's the same. It's so weird. It's the same. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like, kind of like what Marcy was saying that when you're talking to friends, you know, she was talking about her friends. Like, how was your weekend? Oh, it was great. Yeah. Uh, what are you doing later? And, uh, oh, yeah, you know, and how was that? You know, it's, it's all in time. So really, it's all bullshit. Yeah, but it's so weird because you <laughs> yeah. feel like you're bullshitting people because you, there. I don't know. There's this sense of that others take you seriously, and yeah. and you yourself don't. And maybe yeah, it's just funny. It's so funny. It just goes on and on, and it's yeah, nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you, Thank you for sharing, uh, non-duality police. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, Corey. Did you have oh, your hand up? Yes. Oh, hi. Hi, Corey. Yeah, hello, Emerson. Hi. Hello. Hello. Just, um, hi. Oh, I look a bit fuzzy. <laughs> um, can you see me? It's all clear to me. Oh, is it? Uh, <laughs> of course. Um, so, yeah, Shelley, when she was speaking just now about her friend. Oh, yeah, it was Shelley. Shelley. <laughs> Shelley, yeah. Um, she just said something at the beginning. It really uh, meant quite a lot at, um, to me. Something about the, I wrote it down, the interpreter is interpreting. Yes. Nothing. Is that what she said? Yeah. When I was yeah. talking about that, I think it's, was it Shelley, my first one or the second talk on the first day, on Friday? I was talking it was about. the first one you posted. The first one. The first one. Yes. yes. So it, yes. It's, uh, it's the video called The Knowable Nothing. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Which is this also. Um, uh, it was talking about that this is all silence and everything that comes is like an interpretation of silence, but you can't really interpret silence. Right. Yeah. Of course not. No. Yeah. Right. So when the interpreter comes in and starts to interpret it, that interpretation, would it be right to think that that would be the result of the history of that apparent person? Yes, oh, everything that comes up, the history, the characteristics, is the interpreter, right? It's the um, interpreter. Yeah, so it's right. that that's interpreting that's nothing. Right, yeah, the apparent me or the apparent character yeah. or the apparent others. You know, whatever appears in silence is an interpretation of it, but it's also, um, it's also what it, it's also silence. It's it's so gonna like is, yeah. I'm not sure how I've heard if everything is basically formless and then there's form. So everything is a formless form. This mm -hmm. is formless and mm -hmm. what seems to appear is form. So it's kind of like That's... everything is timeless, but the appearance of the past is timeless time appearing all at once. So when the history drops away, the past, yes. timelessness drops away. It's all silence. There can be none of, none of this. It's just nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Gosh. Yeah. yeah. Wow. It's all silence. Everything that appears, including the interpreters, also silence. Yeah. Yeah. There's no. There's no more. There's no more. Um. You know, this or that. It's just all, allness. Wow. Yeah. 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 I th I think there's a hanging on of the history here. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I want to write a book for years about my life and. Um, you should. Why not? And um, maybe if I if the me drops away, I won't remember any of it. <laughs> no. no uh, there's no you to drop away. That's no, the good news. No, no, no. <laughs> there's no, and there's no history to drop away as well, because everything that's appearing is already. Yeah. yeah. So if I did, it would just be a again another story. <laughs> that's that's fiction. what seems. Yeah, fiction. fiction yeah. <laughs> Fiction. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, 
Thank you, Corey. Keep it keeping. That was a beautiful question. Uh, Shelly goes, great question. I agree. Um, I'll get to you, Ollie. I'm going to answer this question from Carolyn to come back to the subject of death. It is often said that death doesn't exist or that is the most beautiful thing. In the absence of time, death cannot exist. It's all or it's always dead. Yes, I don't seem to be able to go to the end of this thinking. Yeah, that's quite, quite difficult because there's this, you know, um, in, in, in the thinking in time, it, it cannot think of what death is. It cannot think of the existence of death or it has an idea of what death is. It's thinking of the ending. So in the absence of time, if there's no ending or no beginning, it's all death. In the absence of time, you can also say there's no death and there's no beginning or no ending. So there's, this is deathless. Both are kind of like valid points in expressing something that cannot really be expressed. Again, there's no definitive definition of something that simply cannot be put into words. But words sometimes, you know what I'm saying? But if you, if you kind of like not really analyze it, but if it's seen that there is no one, there's no time. So how can there be someone? Because for someone to happen, there has to be time. So the beginning and ending of someone is nullified when it's just seen that there's no time. And, um, and I was really fascinated with, with um, a lot of the, uh, there's a lot of books right now about the illusion of time and all that kind of stuff. It's really, although it's, it gets really boring because they get into this, <laughs> you know, uh, discourse about, you know, whatever. Um, Sometimes the only the, the best statement is just one sentence in a book. You're like, ah, oh, okay. They, they didn't have to go into this elaborate whatever. It's already clear that there's no time. But yeah, so death is just another idea in time. And if it's said that, you know, sometimes that, oh, it's the most beautiful thing because it's just seen that there's none of that, right? So it's appearing that if this is death, like, oh, wow, this is already death. Meaning sometimes the death of the idea of death is the death that is being talked about. It doesn't see an ending. Thank you for that brilliant question. Thank you. Thank you. Ollie. Hi, Emerson. Hi, Ollie. Uh, <laughs> can you repeat the last sentence which you just said? I have can't Do you remember. remember? <laughs> no. That's <laughs> <laughs> just, just so intriguing. I can't um, remember. What was it about? <laughs> the death is the something something death. I can't remember. Never mind. But we'll rewind uh, it but, when we when there's a recording. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was stuck to me so that it this time for me, for example, it's like it's like a mind. Um, I call it a mind valley or something. Like there's something which is time. It's like a feeling you might even call it or something. Yeah. And then it gets, well, it gets slimmer <laughs> and slimmer and stuff. Yeah. And this is the time. And yeah, because when you say like timeless here, time is there, time, yeah. is, time is everywhere. <laughs> <For me, laughs> I, I hear the clock ticking every second, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's timelessness ticking. <laughs> that's timelessness ticking. So it's a timeless time, right? So in a timeless time, there's an appearance of time ticking, that you know, an hours, minutes, seconds, moments, and everything. But it's all appearing in timelessness. And timelessness, there's no time, you know. That's, that's why it's timeless, right? Um, there is this um, this illusion or wrinkle, you know, which is illusory. That is moments or time. And in that time that appears, it's all ideas. You know, it's kind of like. Um, in the beginning of time, there is time, you know, but time really got invented in the history when they were trying to sell grandfather clocks and wristwatches <laughs> <laughs> in the history of time <laughs> or harvest time or something like that, right? It, that doesn't really exist. <laughs> it's something that's created. Um, <laughs> Um, but now it's, it's, you know, it becomes, you know, time is gold, you know, time is of essence and all that kind of stuff, right? Um, time is money. All of this statement are all appearing in this illusion called time. So okay. if there's no time, there's no language. If there's no time, there's no conversation happening. 
it's seen clearly that everything is just this appearance or this instantness. There's no history. It seems to be very, at uh, this time, thing it seems to be, I mean, like totally stuck to the me. You know, so yeah. And that, that's why it's, it, that's why, that's why um, it's being expressed that if there is no, if there's this, this suggestion, right? If the suggestion of no me sticks, how can time exist if, if there's no one? Who's keeping the time? Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. <laughs> 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 or, or vice versa, right? If there's no time, how can a me exist? How were you born if there's no time? How will you die? So that fluctuation of the me must be an illusion, it must be hallucination, it must be an idea. On the other hand, there is time because when you stop talking and let's say 12 hours from now, yeah, I'll find myself in insanity or whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, that's the intoxication so clear... is that we're hearing this, that we're talking, we're moving, there's time happening. It's 8.43 in Toronto. It's uh -huh. one o'clock in, in Australia. See, that's the intoxication that there is, that yeah. there's someone in Australia, that there's wherever you are, Ollie. That's the intoxication yeah. that there is this separation that's happening, that there's this computer screen, that there's this water. But the moment that there is deep sleep happening, none of that really happening, right? So in apparent, the nighttime dream and the daydream, this is dreaming here as false was being suggested, there's no really difference to it. It just seems that the daydream is longer and then the nighttime dream is shorter, which is not really true. They're both illusions. So that's the trick of time as well, that one is shorter and one is longer. But when it's seen, there's really no nighttime and daydreaming. It's just all dreaming. And there's also a trick of light and dark happening. Time. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> hey, David. Hello. Hello. Um, great subject. I'll, I could talk about this for. Yeah, no yeah, time. I love this too. Yeah. Um, I have to say, however, I have to give you a critique of your opening speech. Sure, and sure. I have, I have to be honest. And I have to say, yeah, of all of all the conversations or monologues or speeches or comments or suggestions that I've heard about time, yeah. none in in all of my time have left me more confused than yours did earlier <laughs> and, yes and that's a total <laughs> head scratcher and and that in a way that that in a way is is really interesting i was about to say it's key but it's not key nothing's key yeah but it's really interesting because jim newman talks about you know with it's the end of the need to know isn't it yeah yeah. He, that's what he talks about he yeah. references that quite a lot and yeah. that popped into my head it's like there's this overwhelming desire to understand and to know yeah with the belief that it's going to lead somewhere it's going to get yeah. somewhere but ultimately the and there is the answer if there were if you could say there's an answer to anything really is in the end of the need for there to be a question so yeah. no questions get answered ultimately yeah just because the, there's the need the, the need for that answer might just fizzle out. Yeah, it's what was just really being expressed that everything that seems to appear, there's this thin division of line, right? That makes it all like, you know, makes it all real. So when that division of the timeline is, is gone, there's no here and there. There's no mm. you and I. There's no understanding or misunderstanding. There's just this unknowableness. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what yeah. was trying to be expressed, apparently. And I think, I, th I think also when we talk about things sometimes, right? Because like, what the hell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's like uh, I set out really concentrating hard on what you were saying, under the false belief that it was going to lead to somewhere if I could have some sort of breakthrough yeah, moment by yeah. by actually understanding it conceptually. Yes. but that's just all yeah. that's all kidding yourself on, isn't it? I think <laughs> when we talk when we talk about time. I See, think it's, so, like, let me I point out something yeah, there on, that, on, that actually you just touched on, which is kind of like really not, not key, but something that I was talked about. So there is this illusory line of time between understanding and misunderstanding. So you just fell into it, right? Because in the illusion of time, I will understand this. For the understanding to happen, time has to be real. 
mm, when the yeah. illusion of time, that line of time that I'm talking about, is seen as an illusion, who's to understand? Yeah. 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 Or what's there to understand? Because understanding is a process. There's no process. Yeah. Yeah. Because everything is just happening all at once, and it's also not happening. It doesn't yes. have any opposite, really, is what's being expressed here. Yeah. 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 Um, so, yeah, um, when we talk about time, it's like, for me, anyway, the way yeah. I kind of see it yeah. is that very often the subject is taken as a whole like time and there's no questions about are there different types of time and for me there's one glaring uh, issue here mm -hmm. and that is when we talk about time we often talk about like the, the time of day the calendar the clock yes and and that quite clearly is man-made there's no question oh, yeah, about yeah, that yeah. that is what man yeah. created if, if you there's will. a history of in, time, in the story of time itself yes <laughs> but then if you think about if you think about where did that originate it originated when probably originated when society or when man started to organize himself and say right i'll meet you yeah. i'll meet you yeah i'll meet you in this field and we'll do a trade uh, at the next full moon yeah. sort of thing and then the sundials came in and it all kind of went from there yeah. so there's kind of a functional time i would call that functional time and that's completely a construct it pretty is, much yeah. in the same it way is. god and religion is a, yeah. are all constructed by by man but then you can like talk for example about i'll say for example i'll say that i'll have a meeting at sundown yeah exactly and then let's call yeah. sundown six o'clock yeah exactly <laughs> and, and and we can we can see straight through that as that's been yeah made, been fabricated but then there's a then there's a time which is based upon the movement and that's when physics gets involved isn't it the movement of celestial bodies and i kind of think that motivated the functional time but ultimately it's the planets moving through the the solar system and there's and the sky and all of that that led to to time time and i'm not saying that there is or isn't time but but there is the appearance of all of that there is the appearance of movement and you're saying that yes. there is no movement, and I and that's fine. Yeah, yeah. But there is the but there is the appearance, and it's going back yes. to what I said a few times yesterday, which is for any person who's invested in separation and believes they're on a life story, it is very much real for them. So taking taken within their bubble of reality, that is true for them, and they and they will never can never know, see, or understand what you're saying or what you're describing, yeah, or what yes. you're offering up. They simply yes. will never, ever, 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 ever understand that, achieve no. it, get to it, or anything, yes. or anything like that. Yes. Yes, totally, totally. Because the discussion is happening in time. And then to nullify that discussion and saying that this is not happening is unthinkable. Because mm. everything that is occurring seems to be thought of, and every thought is a process, thinker, mm. thoughts, happening is happening even happening is time so everything seems to be running in in a timeline right there's this mm. time frame timeline um but when when it's uh when when it's um exposed you know what i'm saying when there's an exposure that wait a second this is just a running film time is a film yeah mm. and it's just really stillness and this running film comes in and out it's not even a solid film it, 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 it blinks in and out like a quark. Like, you know, quark mm. um, is, is, is appearing in different places and everything. It's not really solid. It's, it's a formless form. It, it, doesn't, it, it doesn't really make sense. It, it's, it's kind of like an anomaly or a phenomena appearing in timelessness. Mm. So all the conversation will always gear up to, well, I don't understand this. This doesn't yeah. make sense because it doesn't. It really doesn't make sense. And it's mm. really illogical and it's really um, incomprehensible. Mm. So this sounds really crazy. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. we keep coming back for more, though. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's this, uh, there's just, this just, madman. There's this madman. Just quick. Uh, yeah, go ahead. And just quickly, in an attempt to exhaust myself, um, yes. <laughs> just quick, quick, just briefly, if you wouldn't mind explaining how if everything happens all at once mm. how come the dinosaurs aren't walking around over and through everything if it, everything is happening all at once what it, what it means by that everything that seems to appear in the apparent experience 
you know, thoughts, ideas about the past yes. is appearing. So there's dinosaurs. Kind of like what I said, there's dinosaurs here. It's there. It's just, an, it's just a thought. Yeah, right. Okay, yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. You're thinking literally of like, oh, yeah, there's a space. I know, I know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Sometimes you just need to ask those silly questions. Yes, 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 answer. yes. Okay, thanks. I'll let Thank someone else you. go. Thanks very much. All right. Love those questions, David. Uh, Robert. Hi, Emerson. Hi. Great talk. Great talk. Thank you. Um, so if there's no time, is the brain generating everything in this like single split second moment that's smaller than a split second? The brain is just generating all of it like back. Like, how, if there's no time, how can a brain exist? <laughs> <laughs> Huh. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> How can uh, generation exist if there's no time? <laughs> yeah, I guess it's just a, a new thought. I had this thought that it was um, everything at once. It's just like, I don't know, I, I imagined like an explosion, I guess, but it's just another story. Yeah. Um, yeah, that I, I guess that nullifies the question. So thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like that question though, but <laughs> Shelly. Hi, Shelly. Yeah, hi. Hi. So it just dawned on me if if when the me is listening to this, the illusionary me. Oh, it it can't at all conceive this. Okay. No. But <laughs> this. Yeah. There's something I, I'm only speaking for myself. The reason I think I keep coming back to this is because perhaps it's heard so much deeper in, um, and there's a truth being felt. And in that silence, if it's almost like heard in that silence, I guess, I don't know, then yes, I keep coming back. And of course, like the eye comes in and out, it waxes and it wanes. Yeah. But there's something that's being heard deeper. It's the, as I always, the resonance usually is just the emptiness. It seems like, you know, this is, it's hard to explain it, but it's emptiness seeing its own emptiness. Mm. Yeah. It's just that it's inexplicable. It's it it's it doesn't appear in thoughts, but it, that's why we can't think of it. Like something's happening, but I don't know what it is because it's not a happening. Mm, and yeah. that's where uh, the unconditional love. Of yes. Is. Yeah. And that's maybe I'm, this is all a story. But and this that's is the maybe... underlying peacefulness that everything arises. You know, that's just another yeah. story here, right? It's just this. It's the silence that we're talking. Silence is hearing its own silence. <laughs> Right. Does it make sense? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. It's so interesting because, like, I'm thinking, why are all of us keep coming back for four days and we're <laughs> literally talking about nothing? I'm surprised too. <laughs> but, but it's speaking to something and it feels so good. I mean, that's a story too, but it does. I mean, for this character. Yeah. And, I don't know. It's just interesting. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. It's or, or, or kind of like funny of how how I'm just really talking about, you know, a knowable nothing for the past <laughs> seven, seven, how many, four, five, six. This is the seventh session. Now, it's still, still the same topic. I don't know if you guys are noticing. It's still the unknowable nothing. Time is an unknowable. Timeless is the unknowable nothing. Okay, so this topic. is like. <laughs> this is like totally a story and totally a judgment. But I have to say attending these sessions is more enjoyable this is all a story than yeah. what we did last night with that other couple <laughs> 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 so kudos to you oh, thank you <laughs> thank you thank you thank you shelly there's a question here um is there any good analogy for timelessness um I'm not really sure. Um, if something pops up, I'll I'll I'll, I'll tell you. <laughs> I like analogies. Um, the Milky Way takes great pictures of itself and timelessness. 
What time is it, Dario? Are we running out of time? <laughs> it's about time. Um, Steph goes, hey, Emerson, I didn't understand your questions. The, the answer to the question about why aren't the dinosaurs walking around? How, sorry, how, sorry, the other, uh, no. Walking around now if everything is happening all at once. What's just being expressed is when it said that everything is happening all at once, meaning the thoughts about dinosaurs, the thought about Big Bang, everything that you think about history, everything you think about the future is happening all at once. Not a literal kind of like, not like a Big Bang <laughs> happening <laughs> and a thing, because all of those are ideas. If there's no history, how can there be dinosaurs? If there's no time, how could there be a Big Bang? It's all a story. There's no hierarchy in stories. If this is all death, if this is all an illusion, the dinosaurs are also illusions. Excavating the, the bones of the dinosaurs is also illusory. Looking into the future to the stars is also illusory. Carbon dating something uh, 10 million years ago is also appearing in this all at onceness. It's a very cohesive, persistent illusion that seemingly has a trajectory. David. Oh, hi again. Hi. Um, so I don't know if I've ever heard you say it, but I've heard uh, speakers on this subject uh, say um, when they're talking about an apparent past event mm -hmm. it couldn't have happened any other way it couldn't have happened any other way now that seems odd coming from someone who would tell you that there is no time and yet they would say they might say yeah i don't really uh, like commenting on other, any other way on other speakers yeah. because so that, maybe it can be taken yeah. out of context i don't usually use that so you that's something that you would not subscribe no. to no. okay that answers that question i don't need yeah. to delve any further then Thanks. all right all right thank you Hey, I'm Sonic. Another itch? A story, I suppose. Me and Nan Yu took nine grams of magic mushrooms. I would be flying on a magic carpet saying, Alleluia, with aliens for around six hours. Since there's no you in you, would the body known as Emersonic have zero effect since there isn't any body or mind there? Um, what seems to be happening, well, just to be, seems to be happening. Um, if, um, if I took 10 grams of magic mushrooms, um, I don't know. There's no one here taking 10 grams of magic mushrooms. So it will just be alleluiaing. There's no personalization to it. Emersonic actually is my DJ name. <laughs> is this the best drug? <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> Thank you, Kane. I talk about that. There used to be a, a time. So this is just a story. So everything that appears in a storyline appears in time, meaning that it never really happened. In the illusory time, um, there used to be... Um, an escaping, you know, like, okay, kind of like, let me, I would go into a yahuasca in a hope, in hopes that I would get enlightened. Um, since all that there is is this, there needs not to be a journey to go into another dimension or in the corners of the hallucinogenic kind of like, you know, psychotropic kind of like experiences, because all that there is is this. Not to say that I did not enjoy it. <laughs> But I would not recommend it in, 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 in trying to seek something. But you know what? Who cares? If that's what's happening, that's what's happening. Um, it's the wanting to get something out. There's got to be something better than this. Um, it's an escape, usually. Or um, it's an exploration that this can't be it. So let me find a higher it. 
So there's this experience that happens, and it's kind of like, oh, wow, you know, I, I went to a different dimension. But the coming down <laughs> is also horrible um, because it's trying to hold on to something that's it's just another story. It's just another chapter in the book of nothing. It could be a really interesting chapter that it, it saw kind of like, you know, different forms and everything and this colors and this euphoric stuff. But it's the same movie. It doesn't get out of the movie because the movie will always be a movie. The illusion will always be an illusion. The, uh, the dream is always going to be a dream. So even talking about this is a dream. But there's no one here in the dream. That's what's being expressed here. Emerson, no. are we doing 90? Sorry to interrupt you there. Yeah. I've just noticed the time. Are we doing 90 minutes today or are they one hour sessions? Oh, it's, it's, oh, and now, oh my goodness. See, when there's no time, I completely <laughs> forgot. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. <laughs> um, earlier on, you said, earlier on, you actually mentioned you. 90 yeah. minutes, which made me think that's maybe right. <laughs> We can edit that then, you know, because it went, I think that that and that talk happened. Thank you so much, everyone. It's been so awesome talking about time. Thanks, Emerson. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Mod, hour, Mod Ghost also. It's also taking intention to heal a disease or behavior. Yes, yes. You know what? I I agree with you, um, Mod. There's a lot of people not just to dismiss it as whatever. In in the dream, it could have its its meaning and purpose or everything, but ultimately, everything is a dream. Thank you so much, everyone. We'll